show you what I know. Break it free from the mainstream, the studio machine. I want it my way. Indie Film Nation. I want it my way. Indie Film Nation. Going all the way. Indie Film Nation. You know it's got to be. And welcome again. We are here at Brain Dance live in London. This time we have the wonderful, amazing, up and here actress. <laughs> yeah, I'm not coming anymore. I mean, not now anyway. She, she's here. Um, she is from Canada and she is called Shauna McDonald. She has this beautiful film that I'm desperate to see because I saw the trailer and was like, oh, that's one of my favorites, um, called True Love, spelled T-R-U. And um, yeah, Shauna, tell us a little bit about yourself and about the movie and, and, and yeah. Okay, great, <laughs> I will. Uh, first of all, I wanted to say True Love, or my film, is also uh, co-directed, co-written, co-produced by my, my producing partner uh, and directing writing partner, Kate Johnston, the intrepid Kate Johnston, who's going to be in London for the, for the film screening on October 4th at 8.45, so 8 p.m. Um, cool. Just very yeah. quickly, I should have said this, Shauna is not only an actress, but she is the writer, director, producer... And I play True. Uh, and she plays True, yeah. of this movie. And I made sandwiches for the crew. Wow. Um, I did actually make sandwiches for the crew That's and awesome. lots of other things. Yeah, no, we, when you make an indie film, you, do, you wear many, many, many hats. <laughs> um, but I am uh, most. I mostly was an actress in Toronto, and then about three years ago, I accidentally met Kate in a in a back room of a bar when my friend was being really loud, and I was thinking, "We're assholes. We're being such assholes. I have to like <laughs> what to do." And I said, "You know what? If you can't beat them, join them." So I went over to the table of these two women who were sitting down, and I said, "Hey!" I just started talking, invited them to kind of join us to talk, and we all got talking. And then Kate just looked at me and said. You're an actor, and I said, yeah, yeah, I am. And she, she said, I knew you were. And, and I, she said, I've got a script. I, I'm writing this short film. I, I'd really love for you to read it. I, like, I think you'd be great for the lead character of True. And I said, okay, sure. And then I put my email address on the first only thing I had in my bag. Be prepared, people. I had a band aid in my bag, <laughs> and I wrote my email address for Kate. She emailed me, you know, nobody probably would have, nobody in their right mind would have emailed somebody who put a, an email address on, their, on a band-aid, but she did. And I met her a week later, read the script that she'd written, this 10-page short, in a Starbucks, I cried. My baristas were terrified. They were like, what is going on? And I was like, I literally, I was like, this is not, th this cannot be a short film. We need to develop this. We need to make this a full feature length script. And at that point, I didn't know, I've never done that before. I was like, how are we going to do this? And I, you know what, when you get the right material and it's the right time in your life and you meet the right person to do it with, which Kate Johnston is the right person to do it, you just believe in yourself and you believe in the project and you make it happen. You just do. So here I am, three years later, literally like three years later, we are, uh, we're at Rain Dance, which is awesome. That is awesome. Yeah. And is it your first time in London? Uh, it's not my first time in London. In fact, uh, in 2008, I starred in a film called Production Office. That's um, it won the best first feature award at Raindance. At Raindance. At Raindance. At Raindance. Did you have anything to do with the production of it as well? I did not. I, I probably attribute us winning to all the swearing I did in that film. Uh, <laughs> it was about a production office manager that was me, who it has this crazy night. Uh, where everything that could go wrong goes wrong, and if you've ever done a production, everything goes wrong every day. Of course, every day, and it's about this this office, this production office, trying to get out of the shitstorm in the solid piece, <laughs> and they finally do. But it was like it's a marathon of a movie, and um, I played Jane, this very swearing <laughs> production office manager. But you enjoyed it, it, right? I loved it. It was really fun. And so, True Love, it's not your first 
a film that you've directed? Yes, it is. Oh, it is. It is. Okay. This is my directorial debut. It's wow. my writing debut and my producing debut. I produced Kate's. Uh, Kate Johnston made a short film called Storm Cloud earlier uh, oh, last yeah, year. I've heard of that. And so we um, we did that one together, and then we in the at the same time we were prepping for production or for uh, True Love. We were trying to raise some money and. Um, and then get people interested in crewing, you know, for us. Charlotte, can you tell us a little bit about how you raised the money to make True Love? For the first thing is, and I don't know what, what's like the rest of the world, but in Canada, we do have some government bodies that help us, you know, organizations that help filmmakers make movies. But you have to have made a film first. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you've been an actress for 20 years and write and, you know, it, that doesn't matter. You actually have to have a couple of projects under your belt. So we received no government funding or any kind of uh, independent funding in, in that sense of sponsorship. But we, um, so it was private money, a lot of Kate's money, and, um, and then we had a very successful Indiegogo campaign, which was um, the first, my first kind of jump into crowdfunding. Uh, we raised over $20,000, which was a substantial part of our budget. And it was it was it was better for us to do that. To, you know, it was that's a lot of money, you know. And I, I mean, how do you go like with your cap in hand to people to tell them about a project? Nobody's going to give you a hundred dollars here and there. Like they're just it's it, it, what's so brilliant about Indiegogo is that and all the crowdfunding, the Kickstarter, all of them is that you can put together a package and tell people what you have, what your project is, mm -hmm. and it's almost like it's a, because it's there and it's public. It's a commitment. It's a commitment to your investors. It's a commitment to everybody in the world that you're going to do this. Uh, so you really have a bond with people, and they trust you, and they they are a part of what you're. I keep hitting that. Sorry. They're a part of. They're they're a part of uh, of the project. You know, we keep them updated on our website, and uh, you know, it's it's an ongoing relationship. In fact, we had one uh, stunt man uh, in Toronto, Chris Cordell. He was a friend of mine, but I would never have asked him for $5,000, and he donated $5,000 to our production and came on as an executive producer. And I infamously, last week, left his name off our poster, but it's on our poster now. <laughs> Believe me, that was a rush job. We put it back. We got it on. Because, you know, that's the thing, like, you wouldn't, I would never think of going up to a friend of mine in the street and saying, do you, do you have $5,000 that you Give want to me do? Yeah, can you, can you just, what do you think, you know? Um, but when you put something out there that is on the internet, it's, uh, people have a choice. And people see a project and they might have some money and they might believe in the project and they want to invest. And so that's what's great about uh, Indiegogo. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing when, and it you, made when all, you get support. It, it made all the difference in the world, having that $20,000 really allowed us to feed the crew and pay some of them who otherwise wouldn't be living because they wouldn't be able to pay their rent. I mean, we, we had such a dedicated crew that came on board, like we paid everyone, uh, mostly everyone. Some people were working for credits and uh, in, the, in, our, uh, in the unions and then other people came on board for literally like $100 a day and we fed them and fed them well. So uh, that money helped pay for our crew and, and for food which is essential, uh, a well-fed crew is a happy crew. That is very, very true. And, and, <laughs> and then you film, get a good product. And yeah, and our, our film was shot in the winter, so you know that was another aspect. We had to keep our crew happy, and the, the first day it was minus 40 degrees outside. It Ooh. was with a wind chill. It was insanely cold. Where was the location? It was in Toronto. We only had a few outdoor days, but uh, and we scheduled the first day to be outdoors, so we, we, I guess it was like, we'll shock the crew, minus 40, it will never be this cold again, so we'll give them the hardest day first, and then they'll be grateful for the rest of the shoot. And did you edit along the way, or did you leave all the post-production for... We left it for after, yeah, because I was, I was performing, I was, I'm one of the leads in the film, and uh, it was just you know when you're making anything on a low budget uh, way it was it was overwhelming as it was just to keep keep everything going on a day to day basis our our shoot was 20 days which is a fair amount of time um, and uh, it's yeah it was um, it was one of those things where we we knew we had some time afterwards and we had an editor on board already she was doing a rough assembly as we were shooting so we 
came in afterwards mm -hmm. and, and did our edit. And how long did that take, the post-production? Um, the post-production took about, well, we finished shooting in March and uh, we, we still have a fine, we'd like to do another fine sound edit. So mm -hmm. we're, we're nearly there. You're we're nearly there, there yeah. But it's 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 we're really happy with it, how it looks now. I mean, every, everyone always says, look, they watch their movie at a festival or see it, and then they're like, take it home and start redoing stuff. <laughs> the only thing we have to do now is uh, just a finer sound mix, which is uh, we knew we were going to have to do. But we're the the edit is complete. And everything. Yeah. Great. And just one last question: After Raindance, where can people see True Love? Where can you see True Love? Well, we're not sure yet. We're going to do the festival circuit. We're obviously going to be uh, submitting it to um, a lot of festivals uh, around the world. This is our first, this is our world premiere. I mean, Rain Dance has a really, um, I have a really strong affinity for this, this festival. Uh, uh, Elliot is uh, from my hometown, Toronto. And in fact, the funny thing, I have a connection with Elliot. He, uh, who's the founder of the Rain Dance Film Festival, he, um, he lived four doors north of me, my wow. current house in Cabbage Town in Toronto, which is crazy. That is like the, the coincidence. Yeah, the coincidences are crazy. Here's another coincidence. I made this movie called True Love, and um, I met my true love shooting the movie, which is a crazy story. I, I, we cast this guy in our film in a scene that's now deleted. Oh, I know, right? I, he's still with me, but it is. But it's now, it's he's now, it's now deleted. But uh, all these little coincidences that have happened through the, for the film. So you know what? You will not coincidentally be able to see our movie. It will come out. We are hoping for uh, a, a release in cinemas around the world. Um, and it is a story about, and this is finally, I'll give you the synopsis at the end, True, a serial bed-hopping lesbian, finally finds love, quite accidentally, when she meets Alice, a widow, and her friend's mother, who's come to the big city to see her daughter, and has, her daughter has no time to spend with her, so she hangs out with this lesbian, and, and, finds and accidentally love. they fall in love, so anything can happen. Sounds amazing, <laughs> and I think it's also got a special spell on it to make true love. Serendipity, <laughs> that's right. Serendipity. Thank you very oh, much. Thank you, Nina. Thank you. It was I such a come. pleasure. Yes, I will. I will. Friday night at eight forty-five. I'm gonna come Friday night eight forty-five. Thank you very much. This is Nina Hatchell and Shauna McDonald. Ciao.